Hello Game Boys and Game Girls, I'm the Game Boy Guru, and welcome to another pickups video, or more specifically, a uh, an arrivals video. I got a box from fellow game hunter and compatriot Zagnorch, so I'm going to be going through that today, and uh, lots of goodies in here to look at, so let's have a peek. Mm -hmm. So first thing that uh, I that he put in the box here was this fun sort of Capcom drawstring bag. I'm not uh, not too sure uh, what I'm going to use this for, but you know this is my game room here, so it might be some fun place I can put it or something I can use it for to store you know loose uh, AV cables or something. So we'll see. Check that out. <clears throat> uh, he sent me a really nice copy of Final Fantasy 13 and uh, aside from a little bit of I guess you would call it shelfware or something like that here just along the edge it's otherwise in pristine condition the disc looks like it's never been played and the manual looks like it's never been touched um, outside of you know being inserted into the case so it's really in fantastic shape uh, I've heard mixed things about this. Some people like it, some people don't. I know one of the big complaints is that there's not much area to explore and it's sort of endless battles down a endless corridor, but um, it's got good music. I know I've heard some of the music on video game radio that I've been listening to lately, so I'll give it a whirl and see what I think. Let's see, we got a couple of demo discs here. We got the PlayStation Underground Jam Pack Winter 2001 with game uh, demos and videos from Kinetica, Okage, Shadow King, Drakon the Ancient's Gates, Extermination, Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3, Baldur's Gate, Dynasty Warriors 3, Final Fantasy X, and SSX Tricky. So pretty cool to have that. Um, fun stuff. It even has the manual and the little PlayStation Underground card in it, so very cool. And I got one of the <clears throat> Xbox um, official magazine demos I don't have. I picked up a few of these uh, a number of weeks ago and posted those in a video. This is one I don't have yet. It's got Ninja Gaiden on the front, of course. Has playable demos for Ninja Gaiden, Tenchu, Return from Darkness, ESPN, Major League Baseball 2004, and Top Spin. Um, I have two of the four of those games. Has video showcases for Hitman Contracts, NBA Ballers, and The Suffering. And then it says Download Center, and it has a bunch of games. So I don't know if this is like extra content for these games or what it is, but. It's a whole bunch listed here. It's March 2004 disc, so I'll have to check that out. A couple of other games in here. Um, got <clears throat> Black for the Xbox, so now I've got that for both PS2 and Xbox. I don't know if this got a release on the GameCube, um, but uh, this I'm assuming is the definitive vision, or definitive version rather. It's got uh, HD TV. 480p support and in-game Dolby Digital, so should sound pretty good. And Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix. I don't have a Nintendo GameCube compatible pad yet, but uh, it's on my list, and when I do, I'll be able to check that out. <clears throat> All right, a couple of original PlayStation games. We've got. Tomb Raider 3, the Greatest Hits Edition, and that includes a demo of Tomb Raider The Last Revelation. <clears throat> greatest Hits version of Soviet Strike, which uh, I didn't have yet. <clears throat> and one that I'm quite excited about is Parasite Eve 2. Uh, I remember buying the original Parasite Eve back when I first got my PlayStation and um, played through the game. I didn't finish the Chrysler building, so at some point I would like to go back and do that, but i um, excited to have this one because now I can finally see what the, the sequel is all about. I know it's a little bit different, um, but uh, I really liked the first game, so I kind of want to check this one out and put some time into that. 
got a couple of random Atari games here that he's wrapped up for me. So I'll tear into the packaging here. So, first we have Tron Deadly Discs. And then we also have Asteroids. Not a huge fan of Asteroids, but I do remember playing it on the 2600 at my next door neighbor's house growing up. And uh, so that'll still be fun. Um, you know, mess around with that a little bit and kind of reminisce about the uh, fun we used to have with that. He sent me some NES cards. <clears throat> so All Pro Basketball. I uh, got Excite Bike, which surprisingly I still didn't have. So one more black box title off the list. Finally got a copy of this um, classic, I will say, Silent Service. Um, the you know the joke going around on RF Generation is that Silent Service is the ultimate NES game, and that every NES owner. Uh, or collector should have at least five copies of this or something like that. But um, I never got this game as a kid. I never quite understood the appeal. I had a friend in school who had this game, and it was absolutely one of his favorite games, and he loved it. And I could never quite wrap my head around it. Now that I'm a little bit older and I enjoy the sort of cat-and-mouse strategy of it, I might enjoy it a bit more. But as a kid, it just didn't didn't do anything for me. But nice to finally have a copy of that all the same. I have Snake's Revenge, and I know that's technically not the second Metal Gear game in the series, but it's still one of the games uh, that I wanted to eventually get. He threw in a copy of Super Mario Duck Hunt. I've got Ivan Iron Man Stewart's Super Off-Road fun game that I used to play at the bowling alley growing up. And Sunsoft's release of Xenophobe. So I don't I haven't owned any of the console versions of Xenophobe thus far, so that'll be fun to put a little bit of time into. I've barely put uh, barely played the arcade version and uh, don't have really a lot of experience with it. One of those games that wasn't in any of the places I played games at for more than a few weeks. He also hooked me up with some more PSP titles. Got a whole stack of them here. So we've got World Soccer winning 11-9. <coughs> World Series Poker Tournament of Champions 2007 edition. <coughs> SOCOM US Navy SEALs Tactical Strike Greatest Hits edition, which I didn't have. <clears throat> Prince of Persia Revelations, NBA Ballers Rebound, we got the Namco Museum Battle Collection Greatest Hits, uh, I have the black box of this but I did not have the GH version so cool to have that, Gun Showdown which um, I didn't even know was a thing until he sent me the message to say that that uh, he found this game and because I've got Gun on the PlayStation and the Xbox uh, but didn't have that. A sealed copy of The Con which is great because um, I've seen this at another store that's in my area uh, but they want more for it than I wanted to pay and it was a reprint cover so this is a still sealed copy which is awesome. He uh, upgraded his copy of Death Jr to the limited edition version, so he hooked me up with his standard edition version. Uh, I am on the lookout for the special edition as well. And also a sealed copy of Avatar The Last Airbender. So now I've got that on Wii, I think PS2, and now PSP. Uh, he also... <coughs> did me a solid and got me set up with a 
item that I've been wanting for a long time but just haven't taken the plunge on, and that is a Nintendo DS, specifically a DSi. So it's black, it's a little beat up, not too bad. It's missing the stylus on the side, but that's no big deal. Uh, you can buy a replacement styli. And um, the touch screen is a little bit worn, but no big deal. Buttons and action all still feel good. D-pad feels good and uh, everything. So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, the SD card deal is uh, intact and all of that. So this will be fun. Uh, I've got a handful of DS games that I have picked up over the last year or so uh, just at Goodwill and, and the pawn shop and that when I found them dirt cheap. A couple of them that I was excited to play like New Super Mario Brothers and there's a Spyro game and I think a Lego Indiana Jones maybe that I wanted to try out and then a couple of others that would be fun but uh, yeah very cool to have that so along with that <clears throat> I got <clears throat> let's see, he packed a couple of other things in here. The uh, power supply for the DS. And, oh, that's right, some cartridges in here that I forgot he was buying me. Or that I forgot he had, had grabbed. So, I got Fire Emblem on the GBA. <clears throat> I got Battleship, Risk, and Clue, for, also for GBA. A couple more of those in here. Um... Super Dodgeball Advance, which I believe is probably um, a newer version of like the Super Dodgeball for the NES with uh, Kunio Kun characters, if I'm not mistaken. We got Dragon Ball Z, Booze Furry, Fury, I should, should say, not Furry. Um, we got Tiny Toon Adventures. Wacky Stackers. <clears throat> Hopefully the game is sufficiently wacky so as to justify the name. We got uh, Crash Bandicoot Purple Ripto, uh, Ripto's Rampage. So I'm assuming this crosses over with the Spyro with the Ripto character. So we'll have to check that out. And finally for the Game Boy Advance uh, in terms of games, is Golden Nugget Casino and Texas Hold'em Poker. One final GBA item here is the wireless adapter. Not sure um, what I'll use that for. I think you can use this to link to another GBA for, um, for play like you would with a link cable. Um, I don't have another GBA and I don't know anyone else that has one and would want to play with me, but cool to have nonetheless. A couple of Game Boy Color games here. We've got uh, <clears throat> Disney's Dinosaur, and also got <clears throat> Disney's Aladdin. And I'm curious about this, because I didn't know this was a thing, so I don't know if this is a whole new game, or if it's just a colorized version of the original Game Boy title, or if it's sort of like a port of the Super NES or Genesis game that came out. Uh, it says it's by Ubisoft, but it's the exact same um, cover art, I believe, as the original Game Boy title. So I'll have to boot that one up and, and check it out. And also one original Game Boy game that I'm excited to receive, and that is Pokemon Red. So now I've got two of the three original Game Boy Pokemon games, both thanks to Zagnorch. So many thanks to him for hooking me up with that and um, finding me a good working Pokemon game without having to spend an arm and a leg. Uh, one more item in here before I'll go over the last bit. This is... Nintendo Power Advance magazine. Uh, it's a uh, premier issue, it says. It was originally sent to Mitch Turner in Seattle, Washington. So thank you, Mitch, for letting this go. 
but it's got information on Super Mario Advance, F-Zero Maximum Velocity, Rayman Advance, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, which is apparently surprisingly good for the platform, at least that's what I've heard, and Castlevania Circle of the Moon, which is a good game. So pretty cool to have that. Uh, always looking for anything kind of Game Boy related. Uh, this is full color and looks pretty good. Um, and this is interesting, just flipping through this. This is uh, an advertisement for Pinobi for the Game Boy Advance. That was a PlayStation game, which I actually picked up uh, a few months back and put in a one of my pickups videos. So interesting that there is that it was ported to the Game Boy Advance. And finally, to go along with the DSi, he hooked me up with some DS games. Um, so first of all, uh, I'll show this is a 3DS game, but this is Bravely Second End Layer. Uh, this is a clearance title that he picked up for me, Dirt Cheap. And so glad to have that. Uh, I don't have Bravely Default yet, and I don't have a 3DS yet, but when I do, I'll have some games to play. <clears throat> they also picked me up a sealed copy of this game, Glory of Heracles. And it looks like it might be a sort of RPG type game. It's by, it's published by Nintendo. Doesn't say who developed it. But, uh, yeah, looks like it might be maybe like a strategy RPG or something like that. So, looks like the graphics are decent at least. There's Drawn to Life, the next chapter. And the original, Drawn to Life. And rounding things out is Up, which was a fantastic movie and looks like uh, a relatively simple game, but who knows, could be fun. So we'll check that out. <clears throat> okay, uh, it does appear that is all that's in the box. So um, many thanks to Zagnorch for the huge box of goodies, and uh, I know he's already compiled some more stuff um, for the next box that he'll be sending me. Um, before too awful long, I suspect. And so I got a lot of stuff here to go through. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the comments you guys have been making on the videos and the likes and, and for all the subscribers. I appreciate that. And, um, you know, keep commenting. Let me know which of these games that I presented today you think I should absolutely play first uh, or which ones I should give priority to at least. Uh, I know with the impending release of the Nintendo Switch later this evening, uh, at least with the midnight launch, uh, there's a bunch of people that are going to be playing that. I'm not going to have one because I didn't pre-order and I didn't feel like driving an hour to wait in line to maybe get one and then have to drive back at midnight an hour back uh, only to not get to play the Switch because I have to work tomorrow. So anyway, um, let me know what you guys think and uh, thanks for watching, thanks for playing, and game on.